One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and broke his head. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> you know, considering I own a media company, you think I would have more than a, a spatula to use as a mic, but um, apparently all of our recording boxes are missing. And the three clip mics that go with it. All I got is these three shitters, one that's on on the spatula, and these two that won't even record. The only way to record audio is with the spatula. <laughs> Anyway, let's get right into this. Um, the skill of died the movie or whatever I titled it. I'm still editing it, but uh, I've had a uh, a few thoughts while editing them. First off, let's get let's get it over with. Yeah, I'm not fat anymore. I lost 115 pounds, so I also lost a few fucking fucking hairs on the top of my head. So that's that's pretty cool. But um. <laughs> Tonight's a nightmare. I've been trying to film this since 9. It is now. It's midnight o'clock, and uh, we're just getting started. So, uh, the skill of retrospective, if that's what we're calling this. And the start of the video, you know, you, as you can see, uh, it's pretty normal, dude. It's like a 13-year-old kid, you know, just just playing Minecraft on his computer. You know, that's that's what I did, dude. It was, as, it was as innocent as it got, dude. Every time, dude, I ate a jelly bean... Or I, I had a Fanta, like in the video. I'm just sitting back here thinking, right? Like, you, you've seen the scene in Interstellar where uh, Matthew McConaughey is banging on the on the glass or whatever and, like, it does the bookshelf thing. That was me, dude. I'm looking back here, like, you know, 115 pounds later. Every single one of those times I ate a jelly bean or, like, fucking a crush or whatever I drank. Dude, every single time... I'm just sitting there thinking, that wasn't just for a video, dude. That was my life. I just sat there. I existed to consu consume calories. That was me, dude. And I'm living with the repercussions of it. Like, dude, I look, I might look decent now. I mean, I'm wearing, like, I'm wearing the drip for the video. Because, you know, your boy's going to dress up for the video. But, uh, <laughs> I'm living with the repercussions of it, dude. I got loose skin and shit. Like, I still got fat to lose. At the same time, though, as far as that set me back... It was almost a blessing, which I'll dive into later. I have I have videos planned. I have I have so many videos planned for this channel. I know. Oh my God, he quit. He died. The skill of channel is dead. But uh, <laughs> no. The stuff that got me through trying to improve and becoming where I'm at today. Not to flex and say like, oh my God, he's he's Bill Gates. He has billions and billions and billions of dollars. No, but. The change in my life that I have made since the Skilliv era to now. Not to toot my own tutor, but I think I did pretty good, right? And obviously as a man, as a man, everyone has improvements to make. And that's kind of like a part of it. You need to have that next goal, the next thing to push for. I just am completely off track. <laughs> I have notes above me. I'm not even reading them. Fuck it. We're going to read. Okay. Um. All right. So chapter one of the video. Yeah. I just I wanted to make videos because as a, as a person, especially a kid, you tend to copy your idols. And in the current digital age where uh, unlike in the past, you know, like, oh, my God, Clint Eastwood, he's so cool. I want to be like him. All you know is his movies, right? But now it's like. Oh my God, Justin Bieber! Let me follow him on Instagram and 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 watch his YouTube vlogs if he does that. I don't know. I don't follow Justin Bieber, right? But like, there's a there's a more personal connection to your idols these days, uh, but it's fake, right? So like, you see someone you look up to and you try to follow that, and you kind of become that. Especially as a young man, young young kid in general, you tend to copy that. So like, you know, chapter one, it was like. I was watching Toby Joe Buskis. I was watching PewDiePie. I was watching some, you know, family-friendly, wholesome YouTube content, right? So that's what I copied. Chapter 2, which was, uh, that's what you saw. That was the, the fat-ass challenge days. Oh, my God, dude. He's going to do a challenge. He's going to eat hot sauce every time he dies in Minecraft. I need to cut this off. These videos need to be more real. 
Uh, that's what it's going to be. This is these are two videos: the the death of Skillev and the death of Skillev a retrospective. They're not what I'd strive to make in the future. I'm just trying to get closure, right? Because that was my identity. The whole Skillev channel was my identity. Now we get on to chapter three. Chapter three was the uh, the story time slash rant era. So um, that's when your boy was consuming drama alert. Leafy is here. Luna, the fucking other stoner dude. Even though I didn't smoke weed, I just thought that shit was like, oh my god, he's so cool. He has a cool voice and rides a skateboard. That's crazy. <laughs> But that that was the content I consumed, right? So I tended to uh, to continue with the uh, the thought of copying your idols. That's what I consumed, and that's what I became. So the so the content I consumed was the leafy stuff, right? Which I'm sure Calvin, Mister No Chin himself, back in the day, I'm sure he, uh, <laughs> I'm sure he wasn't like that to everyone. He wasn't a toxic fuck. But his videos were like that. And I thought they were funny. And to be honest, I still think they're funny. Oh, we're flipping the spatula over. We're on a different side of the mic now. Um, I thought they were funny, right? But being an anti-social fucking awkward homeschooled nerd who played video games, I had no social life, right? So I didn't know. You know, that's all I knew. All I knew was, oh my god, he's going to smash his head in with a fucking rock. It's Leafy, guys. Uh, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna fucking we're gonna we're gonna make fun of of Melvin over there. Dude has fucking Down syndrome, but I need YouTube money. <laughs> My GoPro just died. Fuck. Spatula, spatula. Test one, two on the spatula. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> dude. I just figured as a little like a uh, little homage to the original skill of content I gotta keep it shit dude this audio is probably different because I went from recording on a GoPro to record audio because I fucking can't because because of spatula dude you don't you don't respect the spatula life right I went from that to now I'm on the Sony camera I haven't turned on since like 2014 dude little homage to the channel, keeping the shit content. I forget where I was. Anyway, with the, uh, where I was is with the, the leafy content, uh, and all that content, right? Um, that's all I knew, dude. I didn't get out of the house. I didn't socialize, and when I did, what did I know other than that? I mean, I knew deep down that you don't go fucking point at the autistic guy and go, Dude, look at the top of that dude's head! Oh my god! <laughs> right? Like, you know, I knew not to do that, but I had no so fucking social skills, bro. Because all I knew was that. So, when I was in person, I was like, Um, he, he guys, um, my name's, my name's Dan, um... Uh, um, uh, I just saw a girl, so my pee pee is hard right now. That's why I'm fucking covering it up, dude. It is twelve thirty. I'm losing my mind, <laughs> right? But like, you know, I would. Uh, I couldn't talk to women back then. I can talk to dudes. All I knew was the fucking gamer people, right? Like, <laughs> that's all I knew. Um, <laughs> that could be a whole other tangent, which we'll talk about. But that's all I knew, right? Was it was either leafy content or be ant like awkward and antisocial as fuck. And to be quite honest, I did have some social outlets, so I was a little bit better off than the people in my little my little click, my little niche, right? But um, I was nowhere near where I should have been. And because I didn't I didn't have that interaction, those interactions, and all I knew was my little niche internet persona and life that I like to enjoy and that type of content that is all I knew dude I knew how to be loud and obnoxious when fucking uh, slender man came around the corner right like I knew that so like I tried to in introduce that type of content into my life because I am a I am an extrovert I am an outgoing person right but I was awkward as fuck because I didn't have that exposure because like that was my niche it was these these internet things that's what i was into right i wasn't a normie who was into like fucking bowling or some shit i was into leafy roasting autistic people on the internet that guy has down syndrome <laughs> but yeah that that's all i knew right so that's how my 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 life was and as we get into chapter four of the video which is the uh 
the IRL era. Well, actually, I guess it is chapter three. Um, you can really like I started to I started to mix the the life that I had with the YouTube life, right? So I made the mistake like, oh, dude, Leafy's funny. He makes fun of people. I'm gonna make fun of this kid I know who likes anime, right? So I did. And that's a mistake, right? Because it's, it's one thing to make fun of someone on the internet, especially if they have more followers than you, right? That's one thing. It's even, lo you know, lower down if you're being a piece of shit to, like, you know, someone who doesn't have the following to back them. But it's even lower when you know the person in real life. <laughs> I was autistic, bro. I swear to God. I was making fun of some kid because he genuinely had a passion for anime, right? And I made fun of him. And that was my thing. Like, at first, like, I thought, I thought it was jokes. I really did. And, like, it probably was, right? But... As I was editing this fucking almost 30 minute long movie, right? I was genuinely mad. Dude made a diss track about a Discord server I was in. Who the fuck cares, dude? It's a Discord server. But my fat ass sat down, spent the time, spent the energy, spent the efforts. Instead of getting, going out and getting pussy, we're making money, right? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I was... Spending that time fucking jerking off playing CSGO and making a video about some kid I fucking knew who likes anime, right? That's what I did. That kid's Jack now and like good for him. Like we can we're gonna go into that at the end. That's fucking crazy. Like but uh <laughs> that was that was what I knew. I mixed the fucking online persona I had and like the online life I lived with my fucking social life. You know, the stuff I was forced to do, like school. And like like scouting, which is something I did, right? I mixed the two together, and it uh, I was an ass, right? I was an asshole, and I realized this after some tragic events in my life. It doesn't have to do with me. Um, this close friend of mine died in a very very tragic way, and uh, I binge ate. I'd already lost some weight because of, like, lifestyle change, right? So I, I started fucking smoking nicotine, which I don't recommend. Um, I, got, I had to work full-time because I was out of high school. Um, I had to get a living. So um, I kind of, you know, I wasn't living the basement dwelling CSGO fucking Gold Nova Elite, whatever I was, lifestyle, right? So um, I wasn't packing on the pounds like I used to. So I lost some weight. And I kind of plateaued. I went from 300 to about 260, 265. Kind of hung around there. Friend died. Binge ate. And uh, something weird happened. And this was this was God, right? This was this was God telling me something. Because I put on maybe 10, 20 pounds, which in the grand scheme of things isn't that much, considering I was that much overweight, right? And like I was 300 before. But I started going back to the toxic ways, right? I started, I was, I was mad at people. I was, I was, I was sensitive. I was angry at things. And, you know, I, I was going back to telling people to fucking kill themselves on Rainbow Six Siege after I headshot them, right? And I realized I was unhappy with myself. And that's why I acted the way I did. Because I wasn't happy with myself. I had an ego, right? Like, I never saw myself as, like, the fat fucking kid. Like, I knew I was. Because how can you hide that? It's a physical thing. But my ego overcrowded that, right? Because, oh, look at me. I'm so fucking cool. I'm not, like, that fat guy over there. Like, you're giving us a bad name. Like, I'm sure you've heard that, that joke before, right? Like, you know, oh, you know, if you're fat, like, you don't like that fat guy over there because you're making us all look like fucking retards. We're all retards. Everyone, fat, thin, fucking buff, jacked, anorexic. You're fucking, everyone's stupid, dude. And it's funny, and that's what makes us human. Anyway, I had an ego, right? And, uh... In the waking hours, like in the majority of my life, that overcrowded the reality, right? And the reality, the thing that lived in the back of my head and that came out when I was having a bad day, um, that was that, you know, you are that fat fucking lonely virgin fucking loser fucking basement dweller swears too much. Like you are, you're nothing. 
you have nothing going for you. And I knew it. And some of that was true, right? Like, especially the physical and, you know, the way I acted. But the ego overcrowded that. So when I make jokes in this video, like, uh, do you see my room? <laughs> it's falling apart. I just can't take it anymore because it's suicide. I was never suicidal. I mean, I was like at a really young age, like once, and then I just never did it. So I've been blessed in that sense. But I wasn't suicidal, but I wasn't happy with myself. I wasn't. I genuinely can say now I am because of the things I've done, and it's a long road. I've been like actively pursuing being better for two years now, and that's it's been it's been great. But back then, I joked in my you know during the waking hours or whenever I was just shooting the shit or whatever. I thought I was fine, and I maybe I felt fine. I didn't actually feel fine. Now that I'm now that I'm where I'm at now, I can genuinely say I am happy now and what I was having before was little dopamine hits. Little little monkey brain going, ooh, shiny colors. Oh dude, I just got a fucking four kill streak on Call of Duty Duty, gimme the UAV. Right? That was me. Like, is that actually fun? Sit down and think that. Is that actually fun? Like, yeah, I might seem it. But what's the purpose? Are you bettering yourself? Yeah, and you, your, your aim's better. I dumped fucking 2,000 hours into CSGO and my aim's better. Is that going to get me bitches? <laughs> Not to use bitches as, like, the marker of life, but, you know, when you're finding a mate, someone who's going to be attracted to you, they tend to look for a genuinely, like... And even if it's not, not something they actively think they're pursuing, this goes for both men and women. Um, they look for things that are like genuinely good, right? It's like, oh, does he have a job? Is he making good money? Is he good with kids? Does he have a good physique? Does he take care of himself? Will he take care of me? Will he protect me, right? But all I had to give for myself was fucking 2,000 hours on CSGO and I could hit a few headshots every now and then, right? That's not genuinely good. This is a tangent. This is supposed to be a review of the of the skill of thing. I will actually have structured videos in the future, but this is just what I want to do. This isn't even real, dude. It's fucking... It's 1240. I'm tired. I'm, like, loopy as, as, as bollocks. But here I am, talking to a spatula in my room at midnight. <laughs> It just, it was, it was such an eye opener watching this back and like knowing what I felt at the time, I felt like, oh yeah, haha, ha, this is funny. This is content. But looking back, I was genuinely mad and that's, that's scary. But you know, hindsight's twenty twenty vision. And I realize now that that's because I was not happy with myself and we'll get into how to become happy with yourself, but it's a lot of work. It is. Another thing, too, is the people I did make fun of, like, the people outside of, of, of Wyatt, right, um, the anime stuff, they're all minors, right, and there's, there's a common theme there, and it's a common theme, me looking back at my channel. When you're a minor, you do stupid shit, because you're trying to learn yourself. I'm 22. I'm by no means some, like, wise man who knows things and, like, knows how life works in every situation. No one ever will. And especially at my age, I'm nowhere close. But the people I made fun of back then, dude, like, they were 12. I, I was 12, right? Like, everyone does cringy shit, but that's how you learn. But the people I didn't like and that I made videos about and stuff like that. In hindsight, dude, it's just you're a kid. You grow out of it. People nowadays, I've, I, from my point of view, from my philosophy, if you want to get it philo philosophical on them, is um, that we are maturing later than we should because responsibilities aren't hitting till later, right? Because we're staying in education longer. Uh, it's taking longer to move out. It's taking longer to start getting jobs, start having to live that life. Part of that's the economy. Part of that's just the way that we are now because of, you know, but you have you have the safety net of your parents so people tend to be growing up you know later because we do have these comforts that can keep us staying comfortable so you know we do tend to again from my point of view this could be true it could be false we do tend to mature slower but nonetheless when you're young you're dumb you do some cringy shit i could look back 
I could spend hours logging all the cringy shit I've done. I have an entire YouTube channel full of it. <laughs> but that's 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 hindsight. And um, now I regret what I have done. I don't regret, per se. I mean, I feel bad, and I shouldn't have done it. But I, in general, I don't tend to have a lot of regrets because the way I view things now is you learn. We're flipping the microphone over. Or sorry, the spatula over. You tend to learn from things. So there's no point in beating your... We're switching back to the other camera. <laughs> All right, we're back. We're recording audio on yet another device. Anyway, I don't... Not from a place of ego. I don't tend to have regrets. I have learning lessons. There are regrettable things you can do. But... Um, you don't necessarily have to beat yourself up about it. Like, it depends on the extent, obviously. Like, if I go and fucking blast a cap in some guy, like, that's very regrettable. And there's no going back from that. And a lot of the things, yes, there is no going back from that. I've hurt friendships. I've hurt people. However, they're learning lessons. And that's the beauty of being young is you can learn from it. Don't make an excuse from it. Don't be like, oh, well, I'm young, so I can fucking smack Susie in the face. Right, I'm not saying that. I'm not condoning that. But you have a little lead way. Like, I think regret in the short term is great because that means there's a genuine care, right? Like, you have you're genuinely sorry. Like, you uh, you care. Like, you realize that you made the mistake. But you can't beat yourself up about it over time because they are learning lessons. So yes, I regret the things I have done, the people I have hurt. But at the same time, I have learned from it. Because if it didn't happen then, it might have happened now where there is no going back. Because you're expected to be an adult in your adult age. Anyway, chapter four of the video. <laughs> you can really tell the uh, the pounds were packing on physically. But the pain was actually f getting to me. Right, I was young, it wasn't physical pain like all oh, my knees are giving out. But... You can tell by the way I acted, their overall toxicity. You can see the language change, right? I went from saying frick every other word to fuck, shit, piss, cum, bitch, right? So not saying that swear words means you're a bad person. I mean, you should try to st stay away from them. But I, there was no care. I was so far gone in my opinion. And like there was no hope in my opinion at the time that I just, I didn't care. I didn't care who I hurt. I didn't care what I said. I didn't care what, you know, rules I conformed to because it's like, what, 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 what's the matter, dude? I can just fucking go home, jerk off, play Rainbow Six, play CSGO, play fucking Minecraft, f shove fucking food down my throat. That's what I did, dude. I have Snapchat videos. I fucking got like a tub of Nutella and stuck a pretzel in that bitch, scooped like the entire fucking tub out with one pretzel and ate it, dude. I don't have the video of me eating it, but I have a video of, like, a picture of the fucking pretzel in there. That's the shit I did on a regular basis. And I am living with the consequences of that now. <laughs> I've gotten over most of them. But, like, will I ever be able to have the, the influencer body? No. I'm gonna have loose skin, dude. I'm gonna need surgery to get rid of it if I really do get that lean, which I plan on. Not the surgery part of it, but I do plan on getting lean. And that's a consequence, right? Like, these actions in the past are learning lessons. And I will have a whole other video about leveraging your your problems and the things that, that you know, have messed you up and the things that, you know, make you below average. You can leverage those. And we'll talk about that in a later video. But you can really see, nonetheless, that, like, the depression eating, if you want to call that, I wasn't necessarily depressed, but I didn't have a purpose. It was getting to me, though. You could see it. You could see it in the way I acted, the way I looked. Yeah. In the skill of highlights, reel, or whatever we want to call the last the last upload, um, there's boxing videos missing. To be honest, I dragged all this shit in the timeline, saw seven hours, and I didn't even throw the boxing videos in, so I was like, yeah, this is going to be a 30-minute video. <laughs> um... So I didn't throw those in there, but nonetheless, not that much content to them. 
However, and I'm going to put them here. God damn, I was fat. <laughs> Uh, also, the knife video where I sliced my finger open with the, with a bala song, um, never uploaded that. To be honest, after I sliced my finger and the person I was making fun of, another person I knew in real life, got the upper hand, right, because he didn't slice his finger open, I just didn't upload it, and I was lazy and fat, and, you know, I'd rather not upload videos, I would rather fucking jerk off and play CSGO. <laughs> so... <laughs> My camera's sideways. This is being now, this is camera number three. We have two separate ones I've been using for audio. Now we're on, the, and I had, you know, my, my Canon was doing great. This shows you how prepared I was and how, like, ready I was to make videos. But I had an epiphany editing the, uh, the Skilliv movie. So now we're on the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. All right, so, uh, camera's a little bit crooked. We're gonna fix that in post. All right. And uh, it's a Samsung, so the uh, the front-facing camera, so I can see myself. It ain't good. <laughs> the other one's great, but this one's horrible. I can see it. I can see the pixels. I can see how washed out my my face looks and my fucking hairline, right? So, <laughs> nonetheless, yeah, the uh, slicing my finger open, another person I knew, um, he was... In our little Christian homeschool niche, he was a fuck boy. Maybe, maybe not. It depends on your point of view. Back then, I thought it what he was. I don't know now, to be honest. I'm matured. I'm older. And I might be a fuck boy. In fact, I have a few buttons undone. You can see my pec gains. And I got the Jesus piece on full display. So, I'm probably him. <laughs> I just was an incel back then and extremely jealous. And I know the guy now. He's a part of a, a friend circle. I haven't seen him that often because my life is pretty pretty boring. And uh, I work a lot. And I improve a lot. And I, yeah, that's my life. But uh, again, another it points back to, you know, why, especially, you know, why, why target people? Why be an ass to them? Especially people you know. Food for thought. Because... That video was ever released. If he ever saw it, would that have happened? No. He would have told, you know, he, not necessarily saying he would have, but like, you know, he could have told the other people in this group. And I'm genuinely friends with them. And like, you know, what 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 would have happened? Would I be a part of that group? Probably not. I probably would have alienated myself from everyone and uh, gone even deeper down the rabbit hole that I was in. Uh, there was a Crystal Pepsi video in there. I thought it was S tier at the time. I don't know if it is, and I don't feel like editing it. So G Genius might edit and upload it. Check it out if that's what you want. But we're here for different reasons now. The Skilliv channel, which is probably going to be renamed, is no longer shit posting and gaming content. Something else. <laughs> anyway, um, to kind of wrap this up, the final nail in the coffin. Wyatt Pingini. 8-Bit Brozos, the comic jock. Uh, I don't know what other aliases he's had. He was the primary target of a lot of my my, my uh, leafy style videos. My, like, uh, reaction fucking content. Like, uh, my, my story times, whatever. He's jacked now. Not to say that's, like, you know, the ultimate, like, that guy's fucking good. And, like, he's a good person because he's jacked. But he is, and I think that's kind of cool. So good for you, man. I hope you see this. Peace, love, and positivity. But since the skill of days, I have ran into him a few times. Um, and they've all been great. And to be honest, bro, since you did see the content I made, and maybe you also thought it was a joke like I did at the time, I fucking have mad respect for you to be able to look someone in the face who has shit talked to you for a few years, even years ago, even if it was yesterday, like, you know, you, the fact it was years ago probably helps, but the fact that you could look me in the eye and have a genuine conversation and be genuinely yourself and nice and just outgoing and positive, I'm fucking tearing up right now, bro. Good for you, dude. Good fucking shit. <laughs> I need to work on my vocabulary. I need to stop swearing. 
But that brings me to the next thing as a part of this retrospective. That man, that dude, that guy, he always stood up for what he was into and what he believed in. No matter how much I made, Pinginosaurus was spotted fucking killing hookers because he played Pokemon Go. No matter how often I did those videos, the dude kept doing them because it was his passion. And I have respect for that, especially now. But like, even back then, there was a hint of it that I had gotten, but I just never voiced my opinion because I wasn't the way I am today. Um, The fact that he could stand up for what he believed in and his passion is something that I think every man... Every person now should strive to do. Yes, sometimes your passion could be horrible. Like if I was really into big booty Latina bitches on the on 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 the internet, you know where I'm going with this, right? Porn. (laughs) If that was my if that was my thing, like yeah, fucking make fun of me. But when it's something that you genuinely believe in and it's your thing, voice it. And don't let people change your mind. I mean, obviously, you have to do some soul searching. Like, you know, if I'm into some really fucked up shit and I'm going to make that my persona, i.e. me back in the day with leafy videos, if I'm going to make that my persona, my my MO, right? You have to do some soul searching, right? And see, is this actually the thing for me? And like Wyatt now, he's not in the anime like he was. I don't think he even is. Like when I talk to him, I don't, I don't think he even consumes that content, right? But like, nonetheless... He had a passion, and he stood behind it. So, mad props to you, dude. Um, he's he's that way now, and I, I have mad respect for that. Because unlike people nowadays who conform and flake to fit in with the crowd and to fit in with whatever, that guy, he stands up for what he believes in. Not to make this entire like ending of this video about how like proud I am of Wyatt, the dude I used to bully back in the day, but damn, bro... <laughs> The dude's like a fucking cowboy now who's jacked as shit, drinks beer, is super into his heritage. Like, that shit's cool as fuck. And I'm just still in my fucking room making YouTube videos, dude. Nothing has changed. (laughs) Ah, dude, I'm loving this positive vibes, this genuine happiness that I'm uploading. Happiness. You say that different, it sounds weird. I'm still 12. The fucking GoPro died. All right, fuck the spatula. Last last time we're changing shit. I just need to end this, right? Nonetheless, <clears throat> thanks for watching. I have lost my marbles officially. It is one o'clock. Uh, I so many things have happened while trying to just film a sit down and talk video. You know, I'm over here thinking, yeah, you did. Just put in like five minutes worth of editing and you can upload this video. That's not the case. Nonetheless, help me come up with a new channel name because Skillive is kind of fucking retarded. And uh, this is the new direction. It's now a conversation. It's now a view into my philosophy. Not to say I'm a philosopher or anything, but uh, it's just some conversations on some things I've noticed because, again... I'm not saying I'm, like, this great person, but considering I went from the fat fucking gamer nerd, who was very antisocial, could not talk to fucking women, did not have friends, was, act, like, not genuinely happy, to where I am now, where I am genuinely happy, talking to a fucking camera while crouching on my bed, <laughs> I think that that could be something I have to offer to this world. I believe in finding a purpose is what gives you the drive and the reason to exist, especially as a man, because that's where I come from. I can't speak for females because, to be honest, I don't know. (laughs) I've only just recently started started talking to females because I was and still am at this current moment in time socially fucking awkward. (laughs) But that's the new direction I'm trying to take this. I'm trying to help help you with the things that helped me. I'm not trying to say I'm great, I'm better than you, I can teach you things, but I do have a genuine pleasure, not in a weird way, helping people. I'm not smart enough to be a teacher. I sure as hell ain't going to college. 
but it gives me genuine happiness and purpose when I help people, whether it be, you know, in the gym or with relationship, even though where the fuck am I to talk about that? I've never been in a relationship, but I feel like if I can help people, help my fellow man, that could be my purpose. So we're going to chat about some things. We're going to chat about some of the more uh, bizarre things that have helped me, the go-to you know, the go-to ones that everyone knows about but doesn't want to follow through, the things that have helped me with it, the weird things that you don't think would help one thing, like like exercise, for example. You don't think that's going to affect your mood. It's just going to affect how you look, right? Like, you have guns now, you have a physique, you got titties on you that aren't fat. But it helps with your mood. Like, that's it's crazy. The fact that people have, make videos like these is kind of crazy. And I'm one of them now. But it's, we haven't, we, the way our environment, our society, our people are going these days is a little bit scary. You know, it's, depression rates are up. People can't talk to other people. Dudes aren't getting laid, right? There shouldn't have to be a how-to tutorial on how to do that. But the fact that we are all so indulged into these little things, which I will talk about in the future, and is making us, you know, not feel like we have a purpose per se, or like feel genuinely happy, is interesting, to say the least. I'll see you guys in the next one.